Bodybuilding was so individual for me. I had to study the nutrition. I had to do the training. I had to find out how it worked with my body. There were no teammates. There were no family. There was no, no, nobody to let me down. It was just all down to me, win or lose. And that's, that was the appeal about bodybuilding for me. I was almost psychologically just perfectly built for it, perhaps, you know? It was a very macho place. People were scared to come down there because you've got to go down this narrow stairs, like going down and descending into hell or something, and you just hear these noises and the weights. And a lot of people wouldn't even go there. They're like, no, well, I can't go there. It's a bit of an illusion because once you got there, it'd be all right. But it was, it was a pretty scary place and not very friendly because I didn't give a shit about the gym making money. So the gym was became my, and uh, the gym had an amazing atmosphere because of the, all that. Like people used to walk down there and feel like, Whoa. you know, fuck this train, man. We loved it like that. It's about work. It's about sweat. It's not nice. You know, it's not shiny. It's not cosmetic. Uh, it's work, man. You know, we're used to that stuff. Yeah, people used to comment, come down there, and I'm like, yeah, I've done that. I've fucking done that, man. I've embedded this place, like, 10 years of super hardcore training, so people felt that. Blood and Guts was, um, that was the first one to film a real, genuine, fly on the wall, hardcore, no shit training. But the problem was in those days was to have a film camera and shit like that. I mean, it would be a proper film company. People don't have film cameras and iPhones and all that stuff. So, and they want to do it from their point of view, which is technical. They want the correct lighting, they want the correct positioning. They want take one, take two, take three and get it all perfect, you know? I thought, I don't want to do that, man. But I want to do it like this. I said, I don't want no fucking lighting. I said, I want you to come with a camera, yeah? And I'm gonna train, and you're not gonna talk to me. And I'm gonna train exactly the way I always train. I'm gonna be in the zone. I don't even wanna know you're there. Don't talk to me. Don't ask me nothing. Just film as best as you can. And I want you to capture me and capture the... They wanna see the action. They wanna see how much weights I'm lifting. They wanna see the effort that goes into it. I want the energy. I wanna capture the joint worker. Apart from that, I mean, angles, lights, fuck that shit, man. Just get in there and let's do it. Let's fly. But I, when I went to California and I was, you know, uh, one of my first pro show and I was flown out to California by Joe Weider to do the photo shoots for the magazines and everything. First of all, they asked me to wear sunglasses and they wanted to spray this water bottle on me so it looks like I'm sweaty and take pictures and pose and hold the weight and. I'm like, this is bullshit. I don't train like this. I don't wear sunglasses. Yeah, but we want to, it's like what they want. I said, how about we do something different? How about lift that fucking 200 pound dumbbell? And you get a picture of that. It was my first front cover, that shot. 200 pound dumbbell, I'm doing a one arm row in Gold's gym. With all the veins coming out of my neck and everything. Because I am actually lifting a 200 pound dumbbell. That's what it looks like. People saw that shot and they, they know it's real and they feel inspired and to get energy from that shot.
I got this energy that was almost like violence, you know? We all got these things in our lives, traumas, incidents, and it's like whether you're going to use it or it's going to affect you in a positive or a negative way. Absolutely. So I took that and I used that fuel. Probably I used a lot of anger that I had in me from my childhood and so on. I don't know, but instead of it going all over the fucking place, it was all internalized and then it was into those sets, into those weights. So uh, in between sets, you see me like almost I'm like pacing up and down like an animal, like I'm very, uh, but it was controlled aggression. I didn't make a lot of noise. It was like inside like a fire, like, uh, and uh, I just put all that into the workout. I'm training, I'm in a bubble. I don't think anything. I'm just doing. I'm constant. I mean, I'm in the muscle. I am the muscle. I'd be totally focused before I got there, tunnel vision. I've already visualized what I'm gonna do, which exercise, which order, which clothes I'm gonna wear, visualize myself on the bench, lifting up, look at my training journal. Last week I did X amount for seven reps. That's today's goal, beat that. Get eight reps, that's the goal. So I got a goal very firm in my mind when I'm going there, which is important. You go in the gym and have no goal and just wander around, you're not gonna get very far. What's the goals? Is it more important than the temporary discomfort or fear you might have of getting under this weight or whatever? How important is this to you? Training is very, very intense, heavy weights, um, short training sessions around 45, 50 minutes a time. So my whole training routine it revolves around stimulating the muscle through the, the heavy, intense training and then uh, letting it recuperate. I believe most people train too much volume and don't give their bodies enough time to, to rest. Uh, the gym I train at is, is my own gym, I own the gym in, in England. And it's basically a very small basement gym, very um, hardcore, mostly free weights. Uh, there's no we don't have any cardiovascular equipment or anything like that. The paint's coming off the walls and there's no showers, the toilets don't work. Um, but there's a great atmosphere there. It's a hard working atmosphere where people uh, feel, you know, when they go down the gym, they're strictly there to train, they're not there to socialize. And it's a very good atmosphere to, to work out in.
they put 100% into those workouts, both physically and mentally, and that's when you're going to progress consistently.